In the eastern end of China, Xinjiang province lies Hami, a 153,000 square kilometers green desert, which used to be known for its coal mines, wind farms, and sweet Hami melons. But recently it has become better known for its missile launch facilities. A major nuclear weapons expansion is currently underway in China, with hundreds of missile silos being constructed. Why is China suddenly bolstering its nuclear weapons arsenal? Where is it doing it? And what repercussions can this bring to the rest of the world? China has never managed to build up a large nuclear arsenal, and as such it has always been much smaller than that of the United States or Russia. The Federation of American Scientists, also known as the FAS, asserts that China never had more than 350 warheads in its armament. China, along with other countries with nuclear arms power, follow the principles of mutually assured destruction. It is an explicit no first use nuclear weapons stance, which entails keeping just enough nuclear weapons to retaliate if attacked. China's warheads, as far as we know, were also separate from their launch pads, eliminating the risk of launching missiles in the event of a false warning, and thus preserving their supply for when they actually needed it. But the FAS has revealed that aggressive modernization and expansion of Chinese nuclear weapons is now in full swing. To understand why this is happening, it is important to have a look back at the treaty that catapulted China's determination to achieve nuclear parity with the two other nuclear arms frontrunners. China's move began after the Bush administration did away with the 1972 Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty between the Soviet Union and the United States on June 13, 2002. According to the now redundant treaty, the two countries can have two defense sites on ground with up to 100 land-based missile interceptors and 15 launchers to protect both their capitals and their ICBM fields. However, they are not allowed to have missile defenses to protect their entire territories against strategic ballistic missiles. Both sides used to agree that the treaty helps keep the nuclear arms race in check and lessen their offensive force holdings to avoid as much as possible the likelihood of nuclear strikes. But the US started to sing a different tune in 2001 when President George W. Bush stated the United States withdrawal from the ABM treaty since it prevents them from developing necessary defense weapons in the event of terrorist or rogue state ballistic missile attacks. The September 11 attack might have prompted the United States to reconsider its situation in the face of terrorist organization, as their intent to withdraw from the treaty was announced shortly after the incident. Now free from the restrictions of the ABM treaty, the US focused on constructing high-tech missile defense systems worth billions of dollars. The rapid expansion of the United States defense system had China reassessing its own. China did what any other country in its situation and with adequate resources might do, even the score. From the creation and the eventual abolishment of the ABM treaty, it is quite easy to see who the major players are as far as nuclear weapons are concerned. The treaty catered to two of the most powerful nations in the world, with doomsday machines in their arsenal. According to the data from Arms Control Association, Russia has about 6,255 warheads and the United States about 5,550. Though significant chunks of both of these stockpiles are retired. China, meanwhile, used to only have approximately 20 silos in place for liquid-fueled DF-5 ICBMs in the last few decades, which is now rapidly changing. China is coming in close as the third biggest amongst the nuclear weapon states, with a steady acceleration of their nuclear arsenal expansion in Hami. Presently, more than 200 missile silos spanning across an 800 square kilometer field are being constructed in the region. According to FAS, China is constructing 10 times as many silos for ICBMs as it has now. In the northwestern Gansu province in China lies Yuman, 475 kilometers away from Hami. Here, some have claimed that around 250 new long range missile silos are being put up. However, since the Chinese government has not officially acknowledged these sites or made comment, it is unclear if they really are missile silos. Claims are made that many of these nuclear silo fields are simply wind farms, while others claim that they are wind farm powered nuclear silos. One thing is certain, there is an expansion going on, but to what degree? We don't know. The choice of spreading out the silos to these locations is due to their being located deeper inside of China. These missile silo fields are out of reach of US conventional missiles. Because of its less than favorable position of being the only nuclear weapon state within striking range of all the others, China has to carefully select the locations of its nuclear warhead bases. The Chinese Autonomous Region of Inner Mongolia is revealed to be the third site for its aggressive nuclear weapons expansion. 
located at the Hanging Banner in Ordo City. There's not much public knowledge regarding its construction, and its site is covered with an inflatable dome to conceal sensitive construction details. But it is believed that they are building 29 missile silos in this barren desert. On October 1, 2019, during the 70th founding anniversary of the People's Republic, the military parade featured a series of state-of-the-art nuclear missiles. The most notable one would be the DF-41, Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, capable of carrying up to three nuclear warheads. Another is the DF-17, a medium-range missile that can launch a hypersonic glide vehicle, extremely difficult to intercept. And in the recent years, China's tabloid newspaper, Global Times, has called for the development of China's nuclear arsenal. The US took this as a proof that China is about to set the wheel in motion for the quest for nuclear parity with the United States and Russia. China is positioning itself as the next world superpower in economic, technological and military aspects. As such, it would only make sense to have a powerful nuclear arsenal to reflect that status. President Xi Jinping asserts that China's nuclear ballistic and conventional missiles is a strategic pillar of China's great power status. China's mission for a more modern and mightier nuclear warhead arsenal will not come without serious implications. For one, it will trigger a nuclear expansion chain of action. Because of their joint border with China, India will probably get tempted to augment its current stockpile of 160 warheads. And because of the territorial dispute between India and Pakistan might also add to its supposedly 180 warheads. And then the US and Russia, of course, might get tempted to increase their respective nuclear weapons stockpiles yet again. Though Moscow has good diplomatic relations with Beijing at present, the Cold War has shown that the cordial ties fade away at the slightest display of mistrust. The US has been trying to establish an arms control pact with China for decades, but with no success. Given the huge gap between the nuclear arsenal of China and those of US and Russia, it is unrealistic to expect China to join the two countries in a negotiation aimed at nuclear arms reduction. This is why China has repeatedly declined invitations to join trilateral arms control talks with Russia. According to a survey, most Chinese citizens, especially the older generations, deem nuclear weapons necessary for their security. It is therefore a vital component in their defense arsenal, though they also understand that it is a liability. FAS is waiting for future developments, as it is yet to be seen how will China operate the new silos. Would they load each and every one of them, or would they leave some or most as empty decoys? And how many warheads will each missile carry? These are important details that in the future will help us ascertain China's true intentions. Even with the extensive nuclear weapons development, China still has much catching up to do. Experts say that China can triple its nuclear warhead stockpile and obtain up to 350 warheads. But with less than a tenth of the US and Russia's extensive nuclear arsenal, China has to have a stockpile of at least 4,000 nuclear warheads to reach nuclear parity with US or Russia. The situation between the US and China has at least a passing resemblance to the situation between Russia and the US in the 1960s. Could it be that we are on a path to a new nuclear arms race? With China not heeding the United States' call on a new arms control treaty, Unless the US is willing to downsize its own nuclear arsenal to match theirs, this seems possible. The Red Dragon has no option but to get busy, if it is to reclaim its throne as the leading superpower of the world as it once used to be. If you like what I do, then consider putting yourself on this map by becoming one of my Patreons. Also, consider visiting geoperspective.org, where I have made some maps. Now guess where this location was filmed? And I will see you soon. Geo Perspective, out.